Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to say keep added equals, or sorry, just keep added. This is, uh, okay, there's a couple of ways that you can do this. Um, I don't really, we're not really doing a lot of this heat stuff in the past. What I always told, what I taught kids to was uh, heat loss equals heat gain. And then it makes it, in my experience, it seems to make it easier for people to say, okay, I know where stuff goes. All right. The chemistry way to do this is to say, um, oops, the heat of, uh, of the, I don't know, let's say the radiator plus the heat of the antifreeze has to equal zero. Are you familiar with that from chemistry? Anyone familiar with that system? Okay, then I'm going to do it the way I want to do it. Okay, so that's one way to do it. The way I do it is heat loss equals heat gain. Now, who's losing heat? The antifreeze. And who's gaining heat? The radiator. Yeah, right. I mean, technically, it's the antifreeze in the radiator, but we need some variable to keep us separate. Right. Um, now, the interesting thing is you'll notice that if you do this top, one of these should be negative. And if you do this, they're both kind of positive. And the trick here, the reason why I do it this way, is that delta T is always hot minus cold. So whenever you find a delta T for that thing, you always do which is the hot temperature, which is the cold temperature. So for example, this is going to be the mass of the added antifreeze, the specific heat of antifreeze, and then delta T, which is going to be hot minus cold. Now, which is hotter? The added antifreeze's initial temperature or its final temperature? Initial. Does that make sense to you? Because the initial temperature is 20. So you're going to say 20 minus 1.5. See, it's always hot minus cold. It's always the big number minus the small number. You never have to worry about it. You never have to think about it. I guess that's not a good way to do it. For later. And then this is the mass of the antifreeze in the radiator, specific heat of the, heat of the antifreeze in the radiator. Radiator, but it's just antifreeze, whatever. And then what temperatures do the antifreeze in the radiator go through? It started at zero, because the one in the radiator was almost freezing. And then it ends at 1.5. So this is going to be 1.5 minus zero. It's always hot minus cold. You never have to worry about it. Do you see it's going to be the same thing? Because if I take this and flip it, so it's final minus initial, then whatever goes up there. Or, or one of these becomes negative and then it matches that example. So I just do that logic flip ahead of time so that people never have to track the numbers. They just have to say, what are the two temperatures for this? This and this. Oh, hot minus cold. What are the two temperatures for this? Oh, this and this. Hot minus cold. Whatever. However you want to do that. Um, so then... Oh, we're looking for this, how much we have to add. Um, this, of course, cancels out. And so we get the mass of the antifreeze is going to equal the mass of the antifreeze in the radiator uh, times 1.5 over 18.5. just so that you don't get freaked out. My process isn't wrong, I just read the question. So there's no, like the logic here all works out. We just need to change something, right? And then all we need to change is we're saying this 2.5, what I should have done is I should have called that water, should have called that water, and we know the specific heat of water is 4,186 joules Per, gram, per kilogram Kelvin, right? That's not a degree sign. I'm my death bed saying I want you to be Celsius. Okay, um, yeah, so if we do that, 
Then here we have specific heat of water. So this is 4,186 here, and this is 2,600 there. Okay, so now what do we do? This is almost 10%, and this is Maybe like 170 grams, is that right here? I guess if you do this under calculation. Yeah, so we get about 326 grams. Okay, so the basic logic is all correct. Well, heat lost equals heat gain. Heat lost by the radiator, or by the antifreeze, heat gain, is by the water. So heat lost equals heat gain. Questions? <coughs>